Hello people and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about everyone's favorite Batman villain, the Penguin. All Batman baddies come with varying degrees of crazy, and the fact that Oswald Chesterfield Cobblepot is not deranged in any way and has no particular superpowers but still manages to terrorize Gotham with his underworld operations makes him a total badass. The Penguin, however, has a tragic and depressing origin story. He was bullied to the point that he actually chose a life of crime to seek revenge, and then there was no turning back. Now, you want to know more about this bird-loving, umbrella-wielding crime boss of Gotham? Then let's take a trip through the comic book pages and the screen appearances of The Penguin. But before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means an awful lot. Thank you, and let's begin. Hi. <laughs> Who is Oswald Chesterfield Cobblepot, aka The Penguin? Let's just say Penguin is one of the oldest names in Batman's rogue gallery who has been tormenting the superhero and Gotham City since the golden age of DC Comics. Penguin's character was created by Bob Kane and Bill Finger and was first introduced in Detective Comics issue 58 in 1941 as the deadliest mobster of Gotham. And Oswald Chesterfield Cobblepot's backstory made the readers empathize with this character. Amidst all the murky villains of Gotham, Penguin is regarded as the gentleman of crime for his sophisticated appearance and mannerisms, and to maintain his refined persona, Penguin always dons a tailcoat attire with a top hat. But behind all that, Penguin is a shrewd criminal mastermind who runs an underworld empire in Gotham and also hatches elaborate plans to take out his competitors. After his comic book debut, Penguin's character was all the more popularized by the 60s Batman television series led by Adam West as Batman and the 1966 Batman movie. In modern Batman productions, Penguin is depicted as the manager of the Iceberg Lounge, a happening nightclub which is actually a front for all his illegal activities. The Penguin has a penchant for establishing himself as innocent and framing others for his crimes. Even Batman is not spared. The most striking things about Penguin are his bird-like features. He almost walks with a waddle sometimes and has a peculiar beak-like nose. The penguin is obsessed with ornithology and has a collection of bird-related paraphernalia, such as his car and other vehicles, which often appear bird-themed. The penguin's iconic weapons are his array of technologically tweaked umbrellas, which appear like usual rain protectors but also double up as a gun or a taser sometimes, and come fitted with flamethrowers, laser guns, missiles, sword blades, and also acid spraying devices. Sometimes it would turn into wearing helicopter blades acting as a transportation device for Penguin. Over the years, Penguin has been associated with DC's supervillain groups such as Injustice League, The Suicide Squad, The Society, and The Black and Whites. Occasionally, Penguin has also teamed up with other Batman antagonists including Joker and Catwoman. The Penguin's Tragic Origin Story now, let's take a look at what turned a simple, school-going Oswald Chesterfield Cobblepot towards a life of crime. Over the years, there have been numerous explanations of the Penguin's backstory, but the OG origin story appeared in 1989's Secret Origins Special Comics, in the story The Killing Peck, where the Penguin kidnaps and tortures a red-headed man named Sharky. The conversation goes back to Penguin's childhood, all the way back to his school days when Sharky and his friends bullied Oswald Chesterfield Cobblepot by calling him a penguin for his obese, short build and his crooked bird-like nose. At school lunch, Sharky forced Oswald to eat fish, addressing him as stupid and bird beak, and saying, everybody knows penguins love fish. <laughs> the school bullies also picked on Oswald for always carrying an umbrella. Oswald's mother forced him to carry one always after his dad passed away from pneumonia after getting drenched in a downpour. In the comics, Penguin then says, Abused, confused, and outcast, I turn to the loves of my life, my books, and my birds. Another flashback shows that at a Halloween party, Sharky forced Oswald to put on an ill-fitted coat, pants, and a top hat to make him appear like a penguin and kicked him down, calling him slippery like a penguin. Years later, the penguin tells Sharky, You see, I really have a lot to thank you for. You showed me the meaning of gratuitous cruelty, and how it could be used as a tool to get me everything I wanted. So that's how Oswald chose a life of crime and violence, and named himself after his childhood taunt, 
the Penguin. Now, there's another popular Penguin origin story that was revealed in DC's 2011 limited series comics Penguin, Pain, and Prejudice. Oswald was born to an affluent, high-society couple, but his deformed nose resulted in the father hating him from the beginning. The father even dropped a newborn Oswald on the floor in utter shock. He loathed Oswald so much that he refused to let Oswald share the bed with him, and on one occasion even pushed a young Oswald down to bed, while making love to his wife saying, let him watch this. He eventually rejected his son for his appearance and also for being socially awkward. In this version too, Oswald is bullied in school for his looks when he turns to birds for companionship, and realizes that people hate what is ugly, what is weak. All this rejection and hatred and bullying pushes Oswald into a life of crime later in life. History of Penguin in the DC Universe Penguin is featured in innumerable Batman story arcs starting with his debut in 1941 Detective Comics. In this storyline, Penguin steals a bunch of art from Gotham City Museum and hides them in his umbrella in an attempt to establish himself as a criminal in the city. But he gets into a scuffle with a mob boss who was trying to join and shoots him with his umbrella gun. Penguin becomes the new gangster boss, frames Batman for his own crimes, and even breaks Batman out of jail to make the superhero appear guilty. Batman and Robin were able to capture several of his henchmen, but Oswald got away saying, Nobody can catch the Penguin. Oswald won Batman Zero. And this was their first ever encounter. Throughout the golden and silver age of DC Comics, Penguin kept engaging in heists stealing stuff like jewelry and an emerald penguin, and captivating the dynamic duo. Penguin also joined hands with a Joker to carry out his criminal plans in the city, and was excessively obsessed with umbrellas, money, and birds. Penguin briefly reformed in the comic appearances of the 80s when he turned into an informant for Batman. The superhero was willing to let go of the Penguin's petty crimes in exchange for underworld info, but the alliance was broken after Penguin stole a rare bird statue and Batman procured it back from him, making them arch enemies again. During the events of the Infinite Crisis limited series comics, the Penguin takes part in the complicated Battle of Metropolis, which was started by the Secret Society of Supervillains. In the post-crisis era, Penguin's character was switched from being a burglar mobster to a much more deadly threat who illegally sells all kinds of weaponry. During his time at Belle Reve Prison, Penguin decided to manipulate his Suicide Squad connections and wiped his criminal records clean. After walking out of prison, the Penguin succeeded as a celebrity host of a nightclub and restaurant while also running his underground criminal activities. During the No Man's Land storyline when Gotham City was leveled by an earthquake, Penguin was fully operational as a mobster in the lawless city, selling necessities to the survivors at elevated prices. In the Detective Comics Faces of Death issues of 2011, the Penguin inaugurates the Iceberg Casino, and it tries to diminish the local crime lords and take over their empires. During the 2013 to 2014 crossover storyline Forever Evil, Penguin becomes the mayor of Gotham City with all the superheroes out of the way. He then puts different territories under the care of Arkham Asylum inmates. During the 2017 to 2019 Doomsday Clock comic series, which is a sequel to The Watchmen, Penguin attends the underground meeting of villains conducted by the Riddler to discuss the Superman theory. Some of the more crazy things that the Penguin did during his DC Comics history includes killing an entire team of high school soccer players by hiring the Mad Hatter and fueling a gang war in Gotham City by selling weapons to the warring villains separately. How has the Penguin's appearance changed across different Batman adaptations? Now that we know his origin story, it's not hard to guess that the Penguin typically has a short, chubby build with a peculiarly crooked nose and that he wears a tailcoat attire, complete with white gloves, spats, and a monocle. In some incarnations, Oswald Cobblepot also walks a bit wobbly from a long-term hip ailment, likening him more to a Penguin. So that original depiction of Penguin as drawn by Bob Kane was a short, rotund man with a monocle, top hat, and a weaponized umbrella, who dresses in formal wear. Now that's a classic comic book Penguin. In the 60s Batman TV series, the Penguin played by Burgess Meredith was campy, comedic, and over-the-top, as the show was targeting a younger audience. However, this light-hearted rendition of the Penguin wasn't retained in future productions in favor of darker Penguin depiction. He was always dressed in formals, wore a top hat, and smoked a cigarette, and also fancied himself to be quite the ladies' man. Burgess Meredith's Penguin also had a menacingly cheeky grin. 
So basically, despite his peculiarities, the penguin was actually depicted as non-deformed, other than just his nose, and in some cases, attractive. Till Tim Burton's 1992 movie Batman Returns was released. Danny DeVito's portrayal of the penguin was a haunting and tragic one. He was born with grotesque deformities and turned monster-like while growing up, which forced the parents to throw Oswald away in a sewer. Danny DeVito's version of the penguin had flippers for hands owing to a condition called syndactyly, in which two or more digits were fused together. Sharp teeth, slouched back, dishebeled hair, and sunken eyes in the harsh conditions he was raised in made this villain look like a cross between a penguin and a human. As opposed to Penguin's comic book Gentleman of Crime persona, he was also depicted as a psychopath in this movie. Tim Burton's bizarre reimagining of the Penguin remains iconic and has inspired the many future versions of this villain in both comics and adaptations such as the Penguin and the much-beloved Batman the Animated Series. The Penguin appeared in live action again in the 2014 series Gotham, but in a much younger form played by Robin Lord Taylor. He was the main antagonist of the series attempting to rise up through the criminal hierarchy of Gotham City and becoming Bruce Wayne and Commissioner Jim Gordon's arch-nemesis in the process. This version of Oswald has a skinny physique, pale skin, and gelled up hair, but the character retains its fondness for formals wearing a vest and a coat and a tie, and also, of course, carrying an umbrella at all times. After mob boss Fish Mooney beats him up, Oswald's leg is crippled and he gets the waddle walk. In his older age, Penguin becomes a chonky guy and sports a monocle to conceal his damaged right eye. In Matt Reeves' 2022 movie, The Batman, which is the first of a trilogy, Colin Farrell famously portrayed the Penguin. This version has a realistic, grounded appearance, still dressed in formals but minus the monocle and tuxedo, perfectly fitting in with a modern version of Gotham City's gritty atmosphere. Though this penguin is not deformed in any way, he still has a very penguin-like appearance and pays homage to the OG comic book character with a strangely swollen and protruding nose. Radically different from the extremely bird-like earlier depictions, Colin Farrell's penguin has a scarred face, pockmarked skin with slick back, thinning greasy hair, and all thanks to many hours of prosthetics. This Oswald Cobblepot also walks with a noticeable limp. Colin Farrell reprises his role in HBO's The Penguin series, which is a spin-off of the movie. We're both perceived as monsters. The enigmatic personality of the Penguin. A far cry from the other eccentric Batman villains, the Penguin has a calm, sophisticated persona paired with cunning and ruthlessness. He is a sane villain concerned with running his murky underworld empire, to garner wealth and power, unlike, let's say, the Joker, who just wants to wreak havoc. The 1992 Batman Returns Penguin is an exception, of course, who majorly dialed up the psychotic factor in the movie. In cases that the Penguin was apprehended for his crimes, he was usually sent to a regular Gotham City prison like the Bell Reeve instead of the Arkham Asylum, except for DC Comics' post-crisis version of the character. In that sense, Penguin's relationship with Batman is usually less tensed in the comics than the other deranged villains. Because the Penguin aspires to be powerful and respected, and his wealth and status gives him access to more illegal resources than other Batman villains which he uses to target his competitors and plan future crimes. P.S. He also attempts to enter politics by funding expensive campaigns. Penguin is a master tactician. Across versions, he has famously teamed up with the Joker, and has even been passing on information to Batman to keep his business running smoothly. Oswald is also insatiably hungry for power, and in some storylines, he even tries to take over the drug operations of Carmine Falcone, the mobster who gave him a break in Gotham City. Penguin, however, does come with a bunch of eccentricities, such as his obsessive love for birds and his high-tech umbrellas. Penguin also prefers to be surrounded by women to assert his powerful position in the city and also to compensate for his grotesque appearance. Also, Penguin never forgets an act of injustice that he was subjected to. He may not exact revenge immediately, but he will definitely have his vengeance someday. But it was a gesture. What unique abilities and skills does the Penguin possess in the Batman universe? Oswald was never really physically strong while growing up, and hence he made up for it with his genius-level intellect. Bullied and berated as he turned to a life of crime, Oswald's intellect became sinister and dark, which eventually led him to become a criminal mastermind. The Penguin also has excellent business acumen, being able to run a drug empire in all of Gotham City while evading the law, and Batman, 
He also handled Carmine Falcone's operations at a legit nightclub while selling drugs from within it. Oswald is also great at leadership, handling his henchmen with ruthless cunning and fear. No wonder he runs the strongest of gangs in Gotham City and has always ensured victory for his crime empire in the gang wars within the city. However, despite his short, stout build, Penguin is capable of combat and appears trained while using his personal weaponry. In some storylines, when provoked, the Penguin also resorted to ninjutsu, judo, fencing, and bare-knuckle boxing to take down his opponent. He is great at defending himself with the weapons in his umbrella and even manages a few tussles with Batman. But like we said, his strongest weapons are his business acumen and tactical skills, which enables him to be both a sophisticated Gotham City personality and an underworld crime lord. In some storylines, the umbrellas seem an extravagant addition to the Penguin's powers, as his true power is his ability to hire any mercenary or assassin from across the world. Penguin's strangest ability is his connection to birds. As an avian trainer, he uses his ornithology knowledge to train his pet birds to attack on command and to carry out other criminal activities. In the post-crisis comic version, the Penguin turned into a golden-horned penguin after being possessed by a demon. This monstrous penguin was able to suck out the key of humans and still remained insatiated. However, this extreme transformation of the penguin was only restricted to one comic book appearance. What types of weapons does the penguin typically use in his criminal activities? Remember Oswald's childhood story about his mom asking him to always carry an umbrella? He took his mother's words a bit too seriously and turned this habit into a weapon. The Penguin is never not without his trick umbrellas, which have a wide range of firearms and weapons concealed in them, such as machine guns, flamethrowers, and narcotic gas devices, all of which fire from the ferial. He also has used automatic handguns against opponents, but mostly the umbrellas come to his aid. Sometimes, his umbrellas are also equipped with motorized flight capabilities. For example, there would be a secret switch that would turn it into a wearing helicopter blades. No wonder he's known as the man of a thousand umbrellas. Penguin once proudly offered to show Batman his collection of weaponized umbrellas after capturing the superhero, and we'll just list out a few here. The knockout gas dispensing umbrella was deadly, and so was the acid cannon one. The giant death trap umbrella was able to capture Batman and Robin together, while the net gun umbrella incapacitated the superhero with a silken net trap. In the comics, there was also a robot umbrella that would carry out Penguin's commands elsewhere while he stayed in his lair. In the 60s Batman series, the Penguin even had a bat umbrella, which was crafted for Batman containing a secret radio transmitter in its handle, and then there were the bulletproof umbrellas and the cement-filled ones. In the movie Batman Returns, the Penguin famously had the flamethrowing umbrella and a shotgun umbrella which would also double up as a machine gun. One umbrella was filled with bats while another one confused the opponents with a hypnotizing patterns on it. This penguin also had a carousel umbrella with which he wanted to hypnotize the firstborn sons of Gotham and drown them. Oswald's umbrellas also unleashed a sword from the tip which he used to injure Batman and Catwoman. In the game Arkhamverse, this bladed tip comes poison-coated. What makes the Penguin one of Batman's most unique villains? Penguin stands in sharp contrast to the other Batman villains. Instead of being a physically imposing or a mentally deranged villain, Penguin is sophisticated and sane, a mastermind, relying on intelligence rather than brute strength. His refined attire, despite his peculiar appearance, also elevates him from the likes of whimsical baddies such as the Riddler and the Joker. He also maintains a dual identity of sorts as a business and nightclub owner, and also a crime lord. He also doesn't have any superpowers, just his cunning and the weaponized umbrellas. What sets the Penguin apart is his psychological motivation. Rejected and hated as a kid, the Penguin's thirst for respect and power turns him into a complex villain. In that sense, Oswald is a depiction of what Bruce Wayne could have turned into. Both Oswald Cobblepot and Bruce Wayne come from wealth and privilege and are shaped by childhood tragedies. Both had the potential to turn towards a criminal and violent way of life. While Oswald embraced that as the Penguin, Bruce became the superhero Batman. Interestingly, the Penguin's ability to straddle the line between high society and crime acts as a foil to Bruce struggling to balance these worlds. Penguin is not just a standalone mobster, but also has ties to the economy, administration, and the feds of Gotham City. 
because of which corrupt city officials are often willing to look the other way. Another interesting point here, Penguin was introduced in the early years of Batman comics, but he gradually gained popularity through his many depictions over the years and was eventually incorporated in the list of classic Batman antagonists, comprising of the Joker, Riddler, and others. Oswald has also been instrumental in facilitating other Batman villains such as the Joker. The character has endured through several decades of Batman stories because of its adaptability, like the Penguin has been reimagined in so many ways, but by keeping the core essence same. What makes this villain all the more unique is that he's rather emotional and covers up his insecurities with his power. Is the Penguin a supervillain or just a mob boss? Let us begin by saying that superpowers have never been a condition for being a supervillain or even a superhero. The Penguin is one of the most dreaded mob bosses of Gotham, but what elevates him from just a mobster is his signature demeanor and use of theatrics. His deformed appearance, bird-themed equipment, a collection of weaponized umbrellas, and most importantly, his criminal business acumen adds oddles of sinister vibes making him somewhat of a supervillain. He poses some serious threats to Gotham City as the leader of a criminal empire and in some stories, he is the international arms dealers supplying weapons ranging from the most basic to the most lethal. Also, Penguin has the connections to hire any mercenary or assassin from any part of the world. Some might say that the modern version of the Penguin is more of a mobster running the Iceberg Lounge than a supervillain. But when you add strange elements like a weaponized umbrella or a waddle walk, it somewhat gives him a superhuman aura, even if he's not one. Can he reproduce? The most striking peculiarity of this iconic villain is his deformity. He's either born with him or develops a grotesque appearance while growing up, but either way, there's been no mention of biological issues preventing the Penguin from reproducing in any Batman stories. The Penguin has occasionally portrayed to have romantic interests with various female characters, and on one occasion he expresses his attraction towards the vigilante, Dove, and on another, he even kills Catwoman for refusing an intimate relationship with him. Having said that, the Penguin's ability or desire to have children has never been a plot point or explored in the storylines. Marvelous verdict. On the face of it, the Penguin seems to be more of a regular guy with a bad past, but is actually a cold and calculated criminal mastermind. He may not appear as a traditional supervillain, but his ruthlessness earns him a fearful reputation amongst Gotham City criminals, and he always keeps Batman on his toes. What do you think is the coolest thing about the Penguin? Also, if you liked our video, which other Batman villain would you like us to explore next? Don't forget to tell us in the comments section down below. As always, if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thanks, everyone!